Hello, I'm CG Panda, and in the following video, I will show you how you can create fully rigged and animated characters in Blender 2.8 in probably less than 5 minutes. To do so, I will break down how I created this mesh, the rigging, and also the animations which you can see on the screen right now. As a reference for modeling, I found a pretty cool image on the internet which worked as guideline for my mesh. You can use an image from the internet or paint it yourself. Simply drag the file into the viewport of Blender and align it with your axis. I added a cube with a loop cut in the middle. I removed all the faces on one side of the cut. The mirror modifier mirrored my mesh and I only had to model one side of the character. Most of the time I used the wireframe mode to have a better view over my topology. From there on it was just a matter of extruding and aligning the faces. Just stick to the guidelines of your reference image. You can also add loop cuts by pressing Ctrl and R to add more detail. Once I had finished the front view I changed to the side view and started again with aligning the faces. You can again use loop cuts to get a better shape of your mesh, but I try to stay as low poly as possible. While modeling the side of the mesh you should be aware of the arms because they are a little bit more tricky, but with some attention they also should be very easy. Once I was done with the base mesh, I added a subdivision surface modifier to my mesh to smooth it out. I also activated shade smooth by right clicking on the mesh in object mode. After finishing the base mesh I added more detail to the character. I added a nose and also the ears for example. You can go even further and start sculpting the mesh in sculpt mode to get more details and a more high poly mesh. You can also add hair particle systems to add some hair to the jar. After I was done with modeling, I used the texture paint mode to get some basic colors onto my mesh. To do so, I unwrapped the mesh and started painting onto the texture. I have drawn a mouth and some eyes on the character. I also created his clothes using the texture paint mode. You can also add a real clothes simulation after rigging the jar. Once I was happy, I applied all my modifiers to the mesh. After a lot of tweaking, I was quite happy with my mesh and exported it as a FBX file to my desktop. I didn't rig the jar in Blender because I recently discovered the awesome and free to use tool called Mixamo. They have a rigging AI which will automatically rig your mesh, so I opened my browser and went to Mixamo. There I uploaded my jar and positioned the markers like in the reference image on the side. After the AI had rigged my jar, I added an awesome animation to it. On Mixamo you can even play around with the settings of the animation. Once I was happy with the result, I downloaded the finished jar with the animations as a FBX file and imported it again to Blender. In Blender I used weight painting to prevent the mesh from deforming itself at certain locations like the shoes. This was pretty much everything I did to create this awesome animated jar. 